Oh, I could be all it is you need. Cause we are trying to find a way to be. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to another Minigod 951 3D pixel art tutorial. And yes, what we're going to do is a remake of an old tutorial that I've done, but obviously now we are a little bit better at doing this sort of thing and we've got better mic and we've got a better computer and we've got better that sort of stuff so yes let's make this tutorial foxy so right what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly jump into a clip and you can see what we will be building Mr. Wally yeah so yeah we're gonna build this so you'll quickly jump into a quick clip and you see what we will be building and then we'll jump straight back into this tutorial for you guys. Right, and we're back. So what we got to do here is we'll place a 2x2 two two square on the floor like that. Just like that. So then what we can do from here is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we could do that twice. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 in total. And then from here we're going to come up diagonal and do another 2 diagonal like that. Then we'll do that again there like so. And then on the next one, we'll bring it out and do a two by two square just like that. So as you can see, we've gone up diagonal and then we've got a two by two square here. Then what we can do is bring this out here diagonal and do a two by two square like so. And what we can do is bring this out one more and up like that. So at the bottom, we want a row of, I think it's seven, one, two, three, four five six seven so a row of seven like that then what we can do on this inside row here we can just fill this all in with black there like that and that is just one side of his track so then what we can do is where your two by two square is we're going to go diagonal here so we want to then place a the gray there destroying that gray and we want to count so five across so we from here we want one two three four five and then on the end we'll have a gray and that is the front of our wally so from here we want to then go dial down diagonal and do our two by two square so from here what we're going to do is just copy what we've done on that side for the tracks so we want to come out here two by two uh, uh, just a row of two then diagonal again another row of two then this top one here, we want a flat two by two square like that. And then we want to come down diagonal here and do another two by two square going downwards like this. Then from the bottom, what we could do is run this all the way so it sticks out one from this row here and we do that twice like so. And then bring this up at the end like that. So as you can see, it's taking shape and it's really looking good now. So we're just filling this in a bit with our black wall. Like that. So it's a row of five, three and two of black on both sides. So then what we can do here is count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one here, you want to place your grey. And then all the way across, we then want to put our orange so that is basically the bottom of this robot what we can do if you really want I'm gonna change it up a little bit these orange bits because you're not gonna see them I'm gonna just change these to grey so grey all the way across both sides here and here and then this bottom bit I'm gonna fill in with yellow like so 
So this whole bottom bit we can fill in with yellow. And this is my awesome house in the Survival Madness series. So make sure you go check that out because there is definitely... Uh, it's an awesome series to watch and it's definitely most fun to be in so because this is a row of five you want to find the middle block here and you should have two black this side and two black that side so you want to bring that out to two and the same with this one find the center bring it out too and that just adds a little bit more effect for the bottom of this uh, robot here so now we've done that what we can then do is get our orange out again and we want to come up what well, oh here one two three we'll do three for now both sides one two three four four so we're gonna go four for now and as we're looking from the side here we're gonna place an orange here and an orange here so it's almost like a backwards L going in like that so then what we can do is get our grey out and then from there we want to then place and another else so it brings it up just like that that's looking really good I like that so then what we can do add row of two yellow in here all, all the way so it goes roughly to the back of here so that go dro drop it down one like that so it comes back to roughly about there and then from this row here we want to place orange all the way up to there so now we've done that with the side is coming along nicely this bit here you can fill in all with gray all the way to the back and you want to do that twice so you want to go up a row here and this next one you want to bring it forward an extra one leaving this one uh, so it hasn't got nothing there for now so as we're looking at the front we want to then do a T pattern so you want a, a three across and then one down here like so uh, we need a, some red so we get some red here it's totally up to you uh, you could use uh, like a lamp and that would act as a light for the front of it but that's totally up to you so we've done a red there and then a two by two square of black from there you then want to do an arrow marker like that and then this bottom bit here, you can just fill in all with yellow, all the way to the top. Oh, 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 we're making a mess. There we go. So we do this all the way, fill in that in, so it's all complete. And on, on the Survival Madness, this is where I put my door. But as I said, we're just going to build the actual model. And then it's totally up to you whether you want to transform it into a house or, or anything like that. It's totally up to you. So we do like a grey that goes all the way up like here and then from this bit you want to run it all the way back so it's in the same line as the other side like so. You do that twice. So now from here you want to find the corners one and you want to bring the uh, orange all the way up to the top. And then this remainder bit will be filled in with your yellow. And that is pretty much both sides of your robot done. Yeah, it's really looking good now. So what we can do is come to the back. And the back is slightly different. So from this middle spot here, you want to then bring it up to roughly about there. In fact, what we could do is bring it up all the way up to here, like so. So it's at the top of the grey. And then what we can do is bring this across here and here so that meets that. And you can then place another two grey like so. And don't worry about this next bit because that will be covered up. So what we then could do is fill in this bit with yellow. In fact, yeah, we'll just fill it in like this with yellow like so. And same with this all the way up to the top. You can even fill in the top ones here like that so now you've done that what we can then do is get another row of yellow bring it all the way up to this corner here then all the way across to this corner here and back down again and that just adds a bit more 3d detail detail to the back of this robot so it's really coming along it's looking really good so now what we can do is just fill all this bit in here with your yellow just to flatten it off and this is where we're going to start to build the head of Wally 
So from the back here, you want to go one, two, and then up, out, and up, and then out again like that. So roughly, it's almost like a zigzag mark. In fact, we'll take that one out for now. So right, once you've done that, what we can then do is come up, bring this row out, do like a T marker. As you look in the back, you should see something along the lines of that. And we want to bring it out so it sticks out two on either side, like that, and then bring it out oh, another row. So as you're looking from the bottom, you should see something that looks like that. This next one here, you want to bring this out here and here, an extra row, and the same with this side like that so as you're looking from the side you should see a 2x2 two two square but you want these to stick out an extra one so then what we can do from here is come up diagonal here do a row of two and the same with this side come up diagonal and do a row two and you want to do that three times so it comes forward to roughly about there and it's really really starting to take the shape now so what we can do is from this bit here, we want to do a two by two all the way so it comes right to the front here. From here then we want to drop this row down, build one to the left and one to the right, destroy in the middle. And you want to bring this out free and the same with this side, free. So now you've done that, you want to then bring it up so it's one shorter from the side and the same with this side, bring it up so it's one short from the side and now all you've got to do is start to fill all this back in so it meets up nicely with this 2x2 two two square and the same with this side, fill this in like that and there you go, his eye is almost complete you do the exact same for this side, so you just fill in this all the way in right back to there and the same with this side here now for the eyes so what we could do is go back to this row here fill the eyes in with a 2x2 two two square of your snow make sure it's set one back and then from there we can add some eyes here and here and look at that it's Wally without his hands so we're gonna have to make his hands so what we can do is come down to this one here and we do two sticking out bring it down one and then stick out again and then down one here like so so that's the rough start of his hand so that we want to then change to like our grey wall and we want to go two down and then we want to bring it out here and then go one down and one to the side here like that and that is just a quite a simple hand for Wally but it, as you can see it looks very effective so as we can done one hand we'll go around to this side here and then from here we we'll count one one two three and on your fourth one that is where we're gonna start his hand so we want to bring it up one there bring it out to the side here so you've got like an arrow marker like that then you want to bring it up and forward one so we've done that now we want to then get our gray out and then from there we want to bring it up oh, up like so and then out so we've got two arrow markers almost like so and then what we could do is bring this layer up one and then out and then from here we want to then bring this out so you should end up something like that there you go there is your one complete Wally I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like a comment subscribe take care goodbye Bye!